Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and it's affordable time. I'm back with another box of cheap, cheap goodies to go through. Uh, this one's a little bit special because I wrote to Sweetwater. And I was like, hey, you guys carry uh, all the uh, Behringer stuff. What if you sent it all to me and I would, uh, you know, do links back to Sweetwater if people wanted to buy them? And they're like, we'll only do it under one condition, Ryan. And I was like, okay, oh my goodness, what could it be? What a uh, horrible task will I be charged with to complete this quest? And they said, we'll only send you all these Behringer pedals if you agree to give one away to an audience member. So I'm gonna give away a Super Fuzz. Uh, actually, they're giving it away. Uh, click the link, it'll be the first thing down in the description. It'll go to a thing where you put in your email, your Facebook or whatever whatever contact you choose, and you'll be in the running to win a Behringer SF300 Super Fuzz, which I will be including in this video. All right, let's open this thing up and see what they sent me. I'm using my trusty scout knife, raided from my great grandpa's fishing box, his tackle box that my dad had in the garage. And I saw this thing and knew it was cool when I was a teenager and grabbed it and never returned it. Sorry, dad. All right. Thank you. Note from Sweetwater. All right, we're already getting into the good stuff. I got some candy. Help my diabetes out. <laughs> All right, we've got some boxes in here. Ultra Chorus. Overdrive Distortion, OD300. Noise Reducer. Ultra Metal. This is all the stuff that they had in stock. They're like, we're gonna send you everything we have. You know, stuff is stuck in shipping right now, so they didn't have everything. But uh, tube amp modeler, that's awesome. Compressor limiter. Get this box out of here. So if this goes well, whoa, maybe they'll be able to send me the rest of the Behringer line. But I've got six to start with here. Perfect number for the Afforda board. Start pulling them out, get them set up. I'm excited to check out the Ultra Metal. That's gotta be like a, uh, that's gotta be like a Metal Zone clone, right? It's got all the controls for it. Look at that metal guy on the side of the box. Put that knife away before I stab myself in the face. That would be a very unfortunate affordable board unboxing. Tube amp modeler, I'm curious about this one. The TM300. It's got a bunch of little switches on it. Classic, center, off, mod. Oh, that's the mic setting. Mic, mod, and amp. So this is like an amp in a box sort of thing. Interesting. Noise reducer. We have the guy on the side. He looks like he wants his noise reduced. I don't know what that means. So this is interesting. It has a send and a return. I've never used a uh, noise gate with a send and return. I might have to pull out the manual on that. Overdrive distortion. And finally, the ultra chorus. All right, let's get them wired up and working and see how these sound. I'm gonna throw my own personal super fuzz into the mix as well. I guess I've got to figure out the order first. Fuzz first. The tube amp modeler should be last. Does that make sense? Fuzz first, because buffers. Compression limiter into overdrive distortion, into ultra metal, into ultra chorus, noise reducer to tame all that, and then tube amp modeler. I think that makes sense, right?
I run into a serious lack of patch cable, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to scavenge some out of the uh, shoegaze affordable board. Sorry, shoegaze affordable board. I'll restore you later. Oh, the Ultra Course goes uh, stereo. Maybe I should put that last. I'm running two amps. So I could do a, a stereo mix off of it. All right, everything's plugged in. Power on everything, so everything should work. In affordable board tradition, I'm gonna use an affordable guitar. This is my Squire Contemporary Telecaster that I've made you know, heavy modifications to. You can see that. This thing is actually gonna be a prize in a giveaway. Uh, I'll put a link to that video down below. I'm gonna give away in two weeks here now to celebrate 50,000 subscribers on the channel. All right, do we have a signal? Oh, I didn't turn the amps on. Not surprising, it needs a tune. <laughs> I sure I want to give this thing away. It's kind of a fun guitar. So anyways, let's get started. We'll start with the Super Fuzz, the legend. It's got two different fuzz settings. That's been fuzz number one. Here's fuzz number two. This thing actually has a third fuzz setting. It's got an in-between. If you're very delicate with the switch. You can hear both fuzzes are engaged and you get what I think is probably the best tone out of this thing. Back to number two. All you Doomy guys probably like number two the best.
that in between just scratches the itch for me. Of course, there's a boost setting as well. I never use that, but it's there. All right, compression limiter. I'm not a huge compression guy. Let's start with it all the way up. Why not, right? There we go. It got pretty crispy with everything up. Actually, roll it back a bit and it sounds more uh, like, a like a classic compressor. That's like a compression sound that I would use. Just kind of like a very conservative slight compression to pull it back, to tighten it up, uh, you know, maybe boost into a drive or something like that to get extra sustain. We'll come back to that and see how it interacts with like the overdrive and the ultra metal and the tube amp modeler. All right, overdrive distortion. Oh, it blends from overdrive to distortion. Like it starts out at like a mid gain sort of overdrive. It jumps off a shelf to a lower gain. Yeah, it's a pretty stiff shelf right there. Still, that's like an upper range of a low gain. though. It took me a second to get used to it. But 
now I I think I figured out where it lives. Let's switch over to the distortion side. That's a nice media distortion. I don't know, what do you guys think of that? Now let's try blending it with the overdrive, 50-50 here. It honestly sounds pretty dang great. Um, I think I prefer it either hard on the overdrive side or hard on the distortion. I'd have to spend some time with it to figure out how I'd use that blended sound. Cause that's not typically like a sound I try to dial in. There is something uh, compelling about it though. I know these are all based on boss pedals, by the way. So I know there's, you know, the boss version of this out there. All right, ultra metal, buckle up.
does the thing. It makes that sound, you know? It makes that heavy ultra metal sound. I think that's obviously going to end up living on the high gain to four board. I'm wondering how it will compare against that Dan Electro metal pedal that I have. Because this is definitely a metal pedal. Like, it is extreme metal. I mean, it's got a mid on there that you could scoop to your heart's content. And then a mid frequency knob so you can decide which mid you're going to scoop. <laughs> you can get selective with it. All right, onto the noise reducer. Probably should play it off of this. It removes the vast majority of the noise, but there's still a noise happening. It has a send and a return, which I'm assuming means I could put, you know, my drive in the loop of this and it would get even more precise. Um, I'm not gonna mess with that now, but I'm gonna have to do a shootout with this against the, uh, I think it was an Azor noise reducer that I have. I think it was the Azor. I mean, it does it. What is the mute feature all about? It's a mute. It's that simple. <laughs> if you need a utility pedal like this, you might be curious about this thing. I know it's, you know, plenty affordable. All right, tube amp modeler now. I'm really curious about this. All right, there's a mic setting. We're on off axis. Here's center, here's classic. I think I like off center. Is this pedal a clone of something? I don't, I don't know what this is a copy of. The amp, we're on hot right now. Let's put it on clean. That's a lot of drive for a clean amp. All right, amp setting. Oh, that's the mod. Amp setting, we're on California, there's Tweed and Brit. Let's go all the way to Tweed. There we go.
I don't think it likes being hit with that overdrive. <laughs> Check out the British amp setting now. So much drive for being the clean setting. I think I assumed British was gonna mean Vox. I don't think that's what it means. <laughs> Putting that noise reducer to good use. Let's try the British setting with the gain down again. There we go. That's more normal. Uh, you know, some time spent with these, you can get some good sounds out of it. Certainly the sounds it's trying to get. Uh, On to the California setting now. I'm assuming this is going to be like a Mesa.
think I like that California setting. I mean, I am a California surfer dude. <laughs> Whatever that means. stack with the ultra metal. Yeah, I think that California setting is my favorite out of that. The the uh, the tweed setting is interesting as like an effect. But it just seems too like voiced, you know? Where the California setting just sounds like a really great like amp in a box sort of sound. All right, on to the Ultra Chorus. This is the one I'm hoping is stereo. It's been passing a stereo signal. It's hard for me to tell in a room because my amps are right next to each other. But it certainly sounds lush. Yeah, I'm getting like a stereo thing off of it. depth all the way up, it seems not that extreme. Let's 
try it with some dirt. I might be kind of sold for just what it does to your stereo signal because that sounds really wild here in room. Sloppy noodles today. this chorus. At first I thought it was subtle, but now I just feel like it's just right, you know? I wish I had a big long delay after this right now.
These were all <laughs> pretty great. Um, I think the noise reducer, I'm a little baffled by it. A little bit, it still lets some noise pass through, even with the threshold all the way up. Um, I'm sure there's some really good uses for this. It did function pretty great when I was stacking stuff and I had it in between the two band modeler and other distortions. Um, so it did a great job there. If I'm gonna pick favorites, I mean, Super Fuzz is an, in, an immediate favorite. That Ultra Chorus won my heart. It just did. Ultra Metal, I mean, it does the thing. If you want to sound metal, it does it. I think that's going to end up on the high gain board. The tube amp modeler might end up on the high gain board because it's doing an amp sound. It's pretty great on that California setting. You've got to tweak it a bit, figure out which cab and mod you want, and you know, mess with the EQ and whatnot. Um, compression limiter, I don't care. I don't use that. Overdrive distortion, I'm on the fence with. Um, I thought the overdrive all the way to the side sounded good. I thought the distortion sounded, you know, classic. In the middle, a little too exotic for my taste. I'm not quite sure what to do with that sound, I guess. Maybe you heard something there that you like. But yeah, love it, love it, appreciate it, want to explore it more. Um, this has been a long video. Should I uh, should I do some quick comparisons against some other stuff? I'm not going to put them on, you know, any of the affordable boards right now. I don't want to deal with it. But maybe let's uh, let's do a quick comparison between Super Fuzz and the affordable board classic, the Kuvave. I just love that Kuvave. That's why I'm in down tuning. I was like, why does everything sound so funky? They're both kind of great, honestly. The Kuvave just does that torn 
on the edge of destroying itself super fuzz kind of sound. Uh, meaning, you know, Unizoc super fuzz. This is doing the boss, uh, uh, what is it? The FZ2 thing. Um, just a doom machine, you know, that's super fuzz. Now let's do a quick shootout between the ultra metal and the fab metal. Just because we're here. I don't want to spend the time to do a full re-build of an Afford board. But I gotta scratch that curiosity at you. So ultra metal. Fab metal. Oops. Actually, accidentally unplugged the power for a second. like both of them this is doing more of like your hm2 kind of like 70s kind of metal sort of thing sabbathy kind of and this is doing your you know super mid scooped super low end heavy like modern 80s to 90s metal thing <laughs> So this is like Metallica, this is like Sabbath. Been a ton of fun. Huge thanks to Sweetwater and wearing their shirt too uh, for hooking me up with all these Behringer pedals um, and for giving away one of these bad boys to one of you good boys or girls out there. Um, so make sure you click the link down below to say thank you to Sweetwater and to get in the running for the Super Fuzz. You know you want it. You want that secret in between setting, in between Fuzz 1 and 2. You want that Fuzz 1.5. <laughs> So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, stay grounded. Uh, like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude, nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Uh, buy a shirt. I'm selling shirts down below. You'll see the little bar on the uh, on the YouTube thing where you can select a shirt. Go to Teespring and search for us if you want to. And uh, I already said it, but it's worth saying again. Stay grounded. Bye, everybody. <laughs>